Much like a fart, she can be silent, but deadly. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Hemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara MP55 Masterpiece Nightbird! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of a Nightbird in her vehicle mode, in her robot mode. She is the Destron Ninja Nightbird Shadow, is her full name. Up top, Nightbird Shadow on the side, Nightbird Shadow on the other side, Nightbird Shadow on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, we have a bunch of obligatory product shots and a bunch of stuff that I cannot read, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with some nice artwork there of Nightbird, and on the back, more stuff that I cannot read, more product shots, deck specs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have a Masterpiece Nightbird, and she is a recolor, slight remold of a Masterpiece RC. So here she is in her alt mode. She was packed in alt mode, so that's why we're starting in alt mode this time around. But um, yeah, you can see, I mean, it's very RC alt mode, since it is just a redo here of RC, but I do like this vehicle mode. I think it looks quite good. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We got the Septicon symbol right there on the hood, and a nice gray and black paint scheme going on here. The gray does have kind of a little, uh, a little, little sparkly finish, which I do quite like. Got nice trans clearance, green windshield there, some purple seats. You can see steering wheel there, and all that does have some paint apps going on there on the dashboard. Looks quite nice. And the rims just done in that gray, and the tail lights done in gold. And there is the top. There is the bottom. You have some visible hand syndrome. Yeah, visible a lot syndrome. But she does roll as rolling things should. Hooray! Hooray for rolling! And for comparison, uh, here she is with the uh, Takara Legends Deluxe Nightbird, who is also just a redo of RC. And here she is with Masterpiece RC. Now, as far as the vehicle mode goes, um, the only real difference is just in the coloration and this little part right here, this very tip of the, uh, of the hood here are different molds. Other than that, the only difference you have there is just in the coloration. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get quite a bit of stuff with this lady. So, you get two of her uh, two lightsabers right here. With the handle done in blue, the blade done in green. The blades are removable. If that's a thing you want to do. So you get two of those. You also get two of these swords. These are like the swords that came with the uh, Thrilling 30 RC. Just upscaled. You get some gold there. You can see it's done any trans clearing green with some gold paint on it. So you get two of those. You also get two size. Okay, just done that trans clearing green with the handles painted. You also get a blaster here. Same blaster that came with RC, just done in black. You also get a holster for said blaster. This goes in right there. You do get some uh, some throwing stars here, some shurikens. You get two of those. Just done in gray. And you get some blast effects here, some blushes. Again, they're the same ones that came with RC, just done in purple. One more accessory, but we'll get to that one when we get to robot mode. But yeah, as you can see, you get quite a bit of stuff here with uh, Nightbird. Now you can store um, some of the stuff, not all of it. Um, as far as the blaster goes, you can store the holster, but you can store the gun right underneath. There are slots right here 
or the tabs that are in the handle. So you can plug that in right there. For storage, there is a little pistol also, which is stored in there. I already have it in there. And uh, it's a bit of a pain about to get in, so I just have it in there now, but it's a little pistol. We'll, uh, we'll show that off when we get to uh, robot mode. Um, as far as the swords go, um, you can take her lightsabers, and there are slots on either side of the back here. So you can plug these in like that. So you have that storage option if you wish. Um, as far as the uh, little shurikens go, you can plug these onto the tabs for storage as well. That's what the instructions recommend. You can plug these onto the uh, sides as well. They have those little tabs there. Or any of the swords. All the swords have these tabs on them, so you can store them on there like that, if you wish. Another thing you can do is you can take these swords and take the size, and they will tab into this slot right here. You can see there's this long tab here on the uh, on the blade. You can tab that in, plug that into the side. This is one configuration they show you in the instructions. Tab that in, plug that into the other side. You can have that going on. Thing you can do if you want to do it and everything else. I mean, you can always just take it and just drop it in the seats here. Yeah, no, why not? There you go. Storage. Hooray. Hooray for storage. So, there you go. So, that is basically it for the alt mode. So, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get a good spin out of here. So, to begin... We're just going to come to the side doors here. Focus camera. Focus. There we go. Nope. There we go. Thank you. So we're going to start off by just pulling these doors out right here like that. And then just rocking the door up and swinging it in. And then this entire panel here will just collapse back on this double hinge. And then this section will flip back like so. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Second first is just like the first. So just split this back here. Bring that up. Bring the part in. And then just collapse all this up and back. Flip this over like so. And you got that done. So next thing you're going to do, just take this whole back section here. Just raise that up like that. You can take the, uh, the seat backs here. And... They will just push in and up like that. Split these back sections here, these back taillight sections. Split those and just kind of angle them out. Take this little center panel, flip that in. These taillight sections here, you want to pull it out and then slide it in like so. And then just rotate all this around like that. Same thing on the other side, just pull that out. Slide that over and rotate that in like that. You take these wheels and they will just collapse in like so. And then you can take these two sides here and collapse them up and in and compress all of that. There you go. We can just leave all that alone for now. Uh, let's remove this gun, put that off to the side. You can open up these panels here, and that will free up her legs. Release, release! Bring the legs down halfway, and then shift the thighs in. That's an awkward angle, but you know, if we gotta do it. But <laughs> bring those down like so, and then just bring up the feet, straighten out the little toesies. And there you pretty much have her lower body all done. So now we move on to the upper body. So now what we're going to do here, just take this whole uh, hood section here and just kind of bring this back, get it out of the way so you can swing the arms down and just extend the arms, bring the shoulder down, extend the arm, just rotate the wrist so everything's oriented properly. So we got that. So now we can take this section here, bring this down, and just rotate all this around to bring out her head. And then you can just close up her skull there. 
and just bring that down, get that out of the way so you can then take these wheels, fold the wheels in, and then fold these panels in right after it like so. And you can see right in here, you have this little pistol. That's where that stores. Let's take that out now. There you go. Got a little pistol in there. And you can close these back up like that. And now I'm going to kind of bring all this down like so. You want to take this windshield section here, bring it down. You're going to just kind of swing it through this opening here. Swing it through, swing it around, and then you just, there we go. Swing that through. You want to make sure you swing it through these two hinges as well. So get all of that all the way through. And you can bring that up and that will just sit flush right up in there. So once you have that all done, you can take the uh, bottom section of the backpack here, bring it up on that double hinge. And you have tabs that will go into slots right in here. They don't really work, but make sure you have your clearance here. Just push that up. It's supposed to tab in. It's not crucial. Everything stays together just fine anyway, but yeah, I find it, at least for me, these tabs never really held in like they were supposed to, unless I'm just doing something wrong, but I can never get it quite lined up just right to get them to actually tab in, but again, it's not, it's not a crucial connection, but I'm probably just doing something wrong. It's okay. Not the first time, won't be the last. But anyway, once you do that, you take this old backpack section here. Oh, another thing you want to do also is these little side panels here next to where the uh, seats were. You just want to compress those in a little bit. And now you have the clearance to bring all of this down, which in turn will bring the head down. So drop the head and then tab in her chest. If you have everything situated properly which I don't, apparently. Come on, girl. Of course, now she doesn't want to cooperate. Why? Because camera's on. Again, any other time. Any other time works perfectly. But when the camera's on, that's when everything wants to fight me. There we go. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. All right. So... Bring all of this down. Let's compress that all up as best you can. Once you do that, these little panels here will flip in, flip in. Just get all that as neat as possible. This Decepticon symbol here, you just want to rotate around like that. And then this panel will just flip down like so. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. Let's get her standing. And there you have a night bird in her robot mode. And she looks good. She definitely wears this mold better than RC, I have to say. I definitely like this on a night bird way more than on RC. I think it just overall just works a lot better. I think she looks a lot better. Just me. Just my personal opinion, but I dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at, no, eyes up here. Eyes up here. There we go. Let's take a look at that noggin. I'm sorry. She looks so angry. I, look, I'm a gentleman. I swear I am. But you can see, very nice head sculpt there. Some nice detail there. And the eyes done in yellow. Face done in nice gum and gray. Got the purple mouth plate going on there. Looks quite good. Very expressive. You got the remolded chest piece. A little purple belt with the yellow details going on there. And a lot of stuff we've seen on RC. Just repainted in gray and black. Little feetsies. And moving up the back, of course, we have, you know, most of the car just folded up on her back, just like on RC. But um, it definitely, it, it does seem to camouflage a lot better because it's all, you know, it's all black, so it kind of blends in a lot better than it does on RC. So again, yeah, she wears this so much better than RC did. Now, articulation-wise, 
Um, the head is on a ball joint. You do get some wiggly waggly. She can look up a lot. You told squirrel or robot opossum. She can look down. Head can rotate if you kind of get her big chin kind of moving around there. You can move that around. You get a good range of movement there. Arms can do a full 360. Can go in and out at this hinge. You can also use that transformation joint if you want that too. Um, you have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. As far as the hands, you have wrist rotation. You also have inward and outward movements on those hands. The thumb is just on a hinge at the base that moves up and down. And the fingers are on a hinge at the base. On the index finger has its own hinge. Then the other three fingers are just one piece that have a hinge right there. Now, as far as the waist goes, you have waist rotation. The waist itself is on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggly rotation, crunch, a little bit of arch there. Uh, legs, they can move forward that far. She can do them high kicks. She can go back only about, but not really that far at all. I mean, if you bring the hip out, you probably get a little bit more, but then things get kind of awkward. So probably now, if I don't want to do that. So... Outward movement, you can only get about that far. You do have thigh rotation. You have a single jointed knee, but you get nice full range of movement out of it. And the feet, they can move up a bit. They can move down a lot. You got a toe joint that moves up and down. And you also have ankle tiltage. And of course, she can wield all of her weapons. You can hold everything that she's been given here. But the size... If you want, you can store them on her forearms, like so, just like they were stored in the cartoon. You can have that going on if you want to. Uh, the swords, you can store basically right where they were in vehicle mode. Those slots are still available to you. So you can just have those right there if you want. You can also take the, uh, the larger swords. You can... Plug those there if you want for storage. You can do what you want there. Uh, the blaster, the larger blaster and the holster will tab in. Oops. Will tab into her hip right there. If you want that to be a thing that happens, um, the shuriken, again, you can just tab it onto any of these handles here. If you want storage for those, you can hold these in her hands also. There's a little tab. Tab slot connection. So she can, ah, so she can drop them. Which, you know, not something ninjas do, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's an option. But she can't hold them like that. She has to have her hand, like, wide open to hold them, but she can hold them. And there she is holding her guns here. And if you want, of course, we do have some blushes here. We have some effects parts. Now, one thing you can do with these also is if you remove the uh, blades off of the, uh, the lightsabers here, you can plug these to those handles if you want to hey a thing you can do if you want to do it um you can also plug the smaller one in because reasons you know i don't know hey again things you can do things you can do if you want to do it now either one of these blue shoes you can plug into the larger pistol on the smaller pistol you're going to use uh this one for because there's a little slot there for it now one thing to note is this smaller pistol she doesn't hold all that well she might drop this the second i plug this in and she's about to but okay there we go she that, that one doesn't stay in too well but we can plug in the other one and guess what we can do guess what we can do we can do a big old double nightbird <laughs> It's a night bluesh. That's right, night bluesh. Another thing we can do here that's in the instructions is uh, we can take this, 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 this is weird. But anyway, take these panels, bring them out, and then just angle these doors outward like this. I believe, there we go. The door's angled out <laughs> like that, and kind of bring her arms up over her head. So drop stuff. Let me just take these out. Let me put her legs up. <laughs> this is so weird. But you can take her and just lay her down like that. And now Nightbird can get in her crunches. Because, you know, Nightbird don't skip core day. 
She does not skip Corday. There you go. I know what this is. It's just jokes, people. Jokes, but you know, things you can do if you want to do it. And one last accessory to show off is an alternate face. And to swap the faces, you want to uh, open up her skull here. So you get some nice little detail going on there. You can remove the mouth plate here. You can see she actually does have like a full-on face going on there. Again, nice sculpt there. And you just slide the face up like that and ah that's disturbing that's just disturbing but you can take the new face and plug this on this is just weird and funny at the same time but you can slide this face on close that up and now she's just like oh oh Very weird, but hey, things you can do if you want to do it. You can uh, plug the uh, the mouth plate back on with this face also if you want to. So totally up to you. Just rip it off like oh, I don't know. <laughs> there you have that. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here she is with the uh, Takara. Lux Nightbird. Here she is with Masterpiece Megs. And lastly but not leastly, here she is with Masterpiece RC. So you can see how that works out. Now, as far as robot mode, obviously we have new heads, we have new chests, we have new, you know, waist crotchial regions. Um, the forearms are also different molds as well. So yeah, who wore it better? Um, definitely Nightbird. Definitely Nightbird. So there you go. So there you have Nightbird, and um, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, um, she wears this mold a lot better than RC. She just, she just does. It just works better for her overall. Um, you know, the alt mode looks good. The robot mode looks, I think the colors just make it all look better because it makes the backpack kind of just blend into everything. So yeah, just overall just looks so much better on Nightbird. So I'm quite pleased with her, quite pleased, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Masterpiece figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And you can also check out the Masterpiece playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Takara MP55 Masterpiece Nightbird. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. So, who do we have here, Soundwave? This is Nightbird. She is a ninja. A ninja, huh? So what can this ninja do? Oh! Okay. She only got that kicked in because I wasn't ready. Oh! Okay, that one was just luck. Oh! Okay, she's got the job.